Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. In the previous episode we made our way through the secret sorcery lab and fought our own doppelganger before making our way through Inferno Cave to the boss, dying and then having to redo the whole scenario all over again because of that. Oh. But it worked out for the better, I got some good equipment upgrades from the enemy drops so meh. Not too bad. Anyways, before we move on, I actually want to go back and try to not get killed by all these guys. And then end up getting pushed back. Because now that we have Invert, we can get in here and get this chest containing ultimate ammunition R. Not worth it. Invert. Invert. Now, this is technically the last of the movement tech that we need to explore the full area. And I do intend to do a fair amount of exploration, because having Invert is actually pretty useful for some areas with rather lengthy drops. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, otherwise difficult to get through. Invert. Let's see, another silver chest. Containing silk and diamonds. Okay, well, diamond. Invert. Oh boy, this is probably going to get dizzying pretty fast with how often I have to invert. Mm -hmm. Lundgren. Hmm. It is a great sword, so I'm probably never going to use it. Invert. Invert. Mm. Ha! Yeah! Ha! Mm. Yeah! Mm. Silk and Bixabite, well, that's always going to be good to get more resources. <sighs> I really should take the time now that I have the uh, movement tech to uh, go on a grinding spree between episodes. Same time, I also kind of want to get to that last area so that I have access to that for grinding in. Wouldn't take me actually too long once I've gotten out of here to get to that location. Hmm, brown chest. I haven't seen one of those in a while. What do we got? Egg souffle. Oh, I also forgot to mention last episode I made some strawberry cake. Didn't need it, thankfully. Give us an int and luck boost. Why not eat the scrambled eggs and an egg souffle for extra three mind. An egg dish that looks and tastes as fluffy as a cloud. This takes us back to the Forbidden Underground Waterway. <sighs> Let's see. All right, this is that area on the other side of the desert that I couldn't reach. Hmm. You know what? Well, that was actually completely accidental what I did just there. But I think I will get to that last eastern area so I can do tons of grinding there. But, in order to get to that area, we need to return to the Tower of Twin Dragons. Because there's a specific item that we need so that we can reach that area. It's so good to return to an area where you can just annihilate enemies in one blow. 
But uh, anyways, if the elevator would come back. There we go. What we need to do is we need to go across to the old boss arena that we fought in. Because there's an item that we can get there now that we have inversion. Wish there was a faster way to get around. Actually, I'm an idiot. I could have just taken the elevator down to that one shortcut, but at this point it's too late. What we need to do is we need to get to this area around here. Yep. Invert. No, that's Valkyria dress. That's something different. War Main's distinct dress. Not what I was looking for. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but was the floor not broken in this area after our boss fight? Just saying. Unless I was mistaken, it was on the other tower, which very well could be the case. Give me a moment to search this tower, I will be right back. Okay, so I was right. It is on the tower with the bosses, but you need to go for, at it from the outside, Invert! not the inside. So probably better to just take the elevator to the bottom and then head right. But from here we get Aegis Plate. Aegis Plate is not a good defensive upgrade from the uh, flame mail that we have. However, a breastplate that nullifies all damage from traps and hazardous environments. Ta-da! It does no damage whatsoever to us anymore. Then, with that in tow, we need to return to, well, the entrance of the castle, really. From there, we'll be able to reach a new area. And, well, better if I show you rather than tell you, so I will be right back. Okay then, back at the entrance where we were where we were nearly crushed by a statue. Invert! Use inversion. Go all the way down until it well stops you due to be having collided with an object, and then keep going down. When you reach this, make sure you have the uh, craft work equipped, which will allow you to grab the Iron Maiden and push it out of your way. And you really need the Aegis Plate for this one, because there's no way you're getting through the spikes without getting killed. And let me just make sure there isn't anything for me to grab. Nope. And if you thought one wasn't enough, yep, there's a second set of spikes alongside this, but with the Aegis Plate, the Iron Maiden can't hurt you either. And, let's see, let me just double check. Yeah, there is another room over here. Invert! With a crow hat. And what I'm guessing to be one of the backers. Invert! Invert! And through this door, we come to... The Oriental Sorcery Lab. With access to this area, we now have... Uh, access to several crafting items that we did not have before. We have a gap right there. Has a 10% chance to drop Demon Wings, 5% chance to drop Demon Horm, and a 4% chance to drop an Augment Strength Shard. Remember how a lot of the recipes that we had, uh, 
required, say, soy sauce, well, this is where we get it. Like I said, there are a lot of crafting materials that we wouldn't have access to otherwise until we came here. Here we have a Gouchon. Gouchons have an 8% chance to drop a red bean, 6% chance to drop a demon pelt, and a 4% chance to drop the pickpocket shard. Uh, don't worry about getting down to this area. That getting down in there requires that second to that last movement tech that we're not going to get until pretty much the end of the game. See. Invert. Whoops. Invert. Ugh, it's going to be way too easy. Hagenti have a 12% chance to drop Renette, six percent chance to drop bovine plume, which is one of the things we needed to make the high jump shard. 1% chance to drop Flying Beef and Beef, and a 5% chance to drop the Petra Breath Shard. And no, we can't get that chest yet. That's going to require something else. I will admit, I do enjoy the aesthetics of this area quite a bit. Ugh, these Goujons can be rather annoying if you're not careful. Because by themselves, one at a time, they're only a little annoying, but, uh... Good oh boy. They can swarm you in large numbers. Now I'm trying to remember. Should I go left or should I go up? Left. Well, actually no, I think up would be better because I know for a fact that those Tory gates are the way forward, so up would be better. That's fine. I've got plenty of high potions and food to work with, should I need it. Uh, ooh. Okay, forgot about this door. Which leads us back into the cathedral in an area we couldn't have gotten to. But this is just a dead end that gets us heir apparent to... Potion. And max MP up. Let go Invert. of me. Alright, don't know what the whole point was of having all that there. But whatever. Suppose I could check over towards this way. Oh. Okay, what have we got here? Backsteel. Bandit blade art that lets you slip behind foes and steal from them. Meh. Okay, back to the Oriental Sorcery Lab. And now, let us move forward. Now, where you end up with these Tori Gates all depends on which direction you move in through them. Here we have a ninja. Ninjas have a 6% chance to drop Shinobi Garb, 4% chance to drop Crimsonite, something we need for the Oracle Blade, and a 10% chance to drop Eastern Fabric, and a 4% chance to drop the, uh, Shuriken Shard. Ugh, stupid contact damage. Alright, this will just lead us in a loop. That'll take us back there. And same with that. Yeah, this can be a little confusing if you don't know how to get through it. It's consistent, but confusing. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Okay, that's the way forward, I believe. the gate to get me through. There we go. That moves me forward. I'm kind of concerned about what that lower area was, but I don't think it was a save room or a, uh, or a... Or a teleporter room. At least I hope Tex not. Osseus! Tex Osseus! Actually, turns out it was the way forward yeah. because this is a dead end with a chest that gets me Crimsonite equipment. Okay, worth it. Go. Invert. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the <sighs> forward. Let's see, what do we got over here? A death trap. <laughs> Man, you're not fooling anyone with your shining <laughs> gold. <laughs> hmm. Not seeing anything else though. Weird. Now then, these ninjas do not drop down unless unless those ropes are hit. Thing is, it doesn't matter if it's you or anyone else. Ah, shit. Uh, and as we have learned, this game does not have good checkpoint systems. <sighs> well, time to break out the undead script again. Okay, we're back. Got back to where we were. Uh, cleared out the areas. Uh, also went to check out that one room we skipped over before I died. Uh, was not a save room, but it... Uh, outside of containing one of those demon cow enemies, whose name escapes me at the moment, uh, Hagenit, Hagenti, uh, it also had a chest with ramen recipes in it, so more food for us to make. Uh, made it through here, cleared out the lower area, and got to a teleportation room, went back to Arontville, made a save. Because I don't want to have to do that all again, oh! even with access to a, uh... Yeah. To a uh, undead script. Yes, yeah. Now then, in order to make forward progress, we actually need to jump up into the area where those ninja are. Oh, and up there is another one of Giant Cat's Kamikaze. 8% uh, chance to drop Silk, 4% chance to drop a Doji Giri, so if you haven't already crafted one, because I think you might actually need Doji Giri to make a certain weapon from the Crimsonite equipment set. Not 100% sure. Uh, and a 5% chance to drop the to Tornado Slicer. Ah, uh, shard. Oh, also from the Gujan, those monkey things, I got the uh, pickpocket. And now we have Augment Strength. Pickpocket, I believe, gives you just gives you a chance to steal when you attack enemies. Occasionally steal gold, allows you to sometimes steal items from enemies. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, gonna have to use inversion to get in there. Okay, get some cypress from that, and in here we have another chest that gets us hair apparent. I really should revisit that uh, stylist and see what new hairstyles I can get. I'm just gonna use the high ether so I can take care of these. Other enemies I don't have a problem dealing with regularly, but those guys, especially when they're in large numbers, scrumptious, can be rather annoying. Scrumptious. Alright, Kamikaze, what do you got for me? Absolutely nothing. What else is new? Well, at least that guy gave me something that I can actually use. Dang, I was hoping I could take him out before he could hit me. Shuriken, attack with a type of concealed throwing weapon. Here we got more ninjas. Uh, problem with these guys is that they just attack way too quickly for me to be able to move out of the way of their attacks. Plus, I'd contact damage onto that, and they're just so annoying to deal with at times. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past this one. Uh, let's see, I believe. Yep, something in the nose. We get Manju. Gives us a luck bonus. An Eastern afternoon treat made of bean paste wrapped in dough. Scrumptious. <laughs> so you got some miso from there. Get the feeling we're moving forward with this. Ooh, Shinobi Guard. Let's see. Oh, we lose some damage. Eh, I don't think the bonuses are enough to justify it. Let's see. Nice effect, but I don't like it. What is it with me and finding my having a knack for finding the way forward when I actually don't want to move forward? Let's see, the ritual is tomorrow, but we have a problem. One of the children we selected, Miriam, has fallen into a deep slumber, and her crystal, which counts for half the catalyst we intended to use, has lost its power. I suspect my friend, but it matters not. The ritual's chances of success have waned, but we must find a way. Whilst Bale did not come, the summoning was a triumphant success. Demons have flooded into our world, proving the validity of the guild's beliefs and the necessary or necessity of our presence. 
However, I never imagined it would lead to such catastrophe. Was I foolish to heed my superiors so blindly? But what is done is done. Right. Oh, thank goodness, a save room. <sighs> yes, I will save my progress, because I don't want to have to do all that again. And let's backtrack and check out those areas I skipped over earlier. Yeah, I'm just going to run past all these guys. You know what, let's backtrack further to that one other area that I missed. Oh. Well, going back here was pointless because we need the carpenter's key to get into that. Okay. Fine. all my fried fish. <laughs> Starting to see what I mean about these, how annoying these monkeys are. With how quickly they move around. Combine that with effing contact damage. Which, trust me, I've looked. There is no means of turning it off. Ugh. Ofuda Talisman. Let's see where... Ah, here we are. Uh, ooh, some nice boosts across the board. We lose some luck from the Plunderer's Ring, but really, I haven't needed that. Uh, we have a couple minutes left, but I know what boss it is that's behind that door, and I know we don't have the time to take care of it. So, I'm just gonna make my way back to town and take care of a bit of crafting that I believe I should be able to take care of now. So, let's take a waystone back and see what new stuff we can make. Ooh, plus I can also turn in a quest. Got any tap? Here's what I've Good. Get some crimsonite out of that. I think we got a few bits of crimsonite from the ninjas. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? Let's see. Panacea. Let's see, a medicine dispels all afflictions. Oh, not bad. Let's see. Come on, I know we got some new stuff. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we need this. the Dojigiri to craft something else. Yep, Mikazuki. Let's see if there's any armor or whatnot I can make. Uh, ooh, Agent Tiara. That requires Crimsonite, but it also requires gold, which I don't have. And to make gold... For purchase, I would need 50 mercury and 10 dark matter, or I would have to find it. So I think for the time being, I'm going to go with the demon horns, because that is, those are just some nice stat boosts, and I've been needing to replace this. the hat for a while. Let's see, armor. Let's see, shinobi guard, not much. Kalarsis. Kalasiris. Nah. Tatanashi. I would need some Orichalcum and some Imbrood Skull. Or an Imbrood Skull. 
And I think I get that from one of those special boss rooms. So, no. Flame Mail I already have. Assassin's Vest is not that much of an upgrade, so no, no, and no. Uh, nothing new in the scarves. Nothing new here. Food preparation? Ooh, I actually can make some stuff. Well, a thing. Egg on rice. I'll go with this. Sure, why not? Great. Let's see, and I know I saw something about macaroni gratin. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? No, seriously, where did it disappear to? I know I saw it on the list. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'd need white sauce and pasta for that. Promise you'll stop Jeebel no matter what. Alright, but... With that, we are out of time for this episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like. Subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pull link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.